Here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. 44 degrees. It is not too uncomfortable for this time of year. And the nice thing is, uh, no rain on you as you're heading out to the polls today. No, and I expect it to stay dry right through the polls closing later on this evening and in fact through the nighttime tonight. Let's go ahead and take a look. What we do have for tonight, a freeze warning that's been issued for the area shaded in blue here. Temperatures all across Rhode Island. Inland Bristol and Plymouth counties and in Massachusetts will also drop down to or even below freezing. But these areas shaded in blue have yet to see a hard freeze. So that'll be the first of the season, at least forecasted there. So bring in those potted plants. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. We have the dry skies over our area this afternoon, even with the cloud cover. And you can see it is mostly cloudy over Providence right now. We've had a tough time shaking these clouds this morning. But I am showing signs or seeing signs that they're breaking apart now. And so I do expect expect the clouds to give way to some sunshine as the afternoon goes on. About 46 degrees right now for the temperature in Providence. A breezy wind, 13 miles an hour, adding to that chill. And we'll see, again, increasing amounts of sun as we go into the afternoon and evening. So we hit a high of about 49 degrees at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Winding out the view here, show you the satellite and radar. You can watch as these clouds are splitting apart here. You can see where skies are starting to clear out. So high pressure keeping us dry. Once the clouds move out, it should be coming mostly sunny and cool for the second half of the day. 48 Pawtucket downtown, 51, 48 North Providence. TF Green, no travel troubles getting around town, heading to a polling place in Cranston, drying about 50. Barrington near 49 for a high. South Coast will also come in around the upper 40s to near 50. Wickford and Newport, 47 in Coventry, becoming partly cloudy. A chilly fall day, lighter winds than yesterday. Burville and Foster Center, 48 in Johnston and we're going to find highs around 49 in Seekonk mixture of clouds and sun through the afternoon about 50 Westport and 50 degrees in New Bedford for the nighttime hours tonight we have that freeze warning in effect clear cold dry temperatures all the way down into the upper 20s to lower 30s so again that does take us in most spots at or just slightly below freezing so definitely uh, make sure to bring in the potted plants or at least cover them up if you are trying to hold on to any say basil parsley any of your herbs or flowers seven day future cast for you still looking at rain working its way our direction by thursday and thursday night and it could contain some heavier downpours it'll pull slightly milder air with it as it comes in but uh, temperatures today about 49 50 for tomorrow mostly sunny down to 30 again tonight and then not quite as cold wednesday night clouding up showers as we head towards thursday morning and afternoon some steadier rain continues Thursday evening, winds down Thursday night and Friday morning. And then I have added in a just passing shower, rain, possibly a wet flake mixed in there. It doesn't stick. We'll keep an eye on the situation for you, but it should be dry, brighter for Sunday and on Monday as well. You can get your updated forecast 24-7, Pinpoint Weather Station, Cox Digital Cable Channel 125. So dry today, dry tomorrow. Won't we need the bread and milk this weekend? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Not yet. All right. Thank you, Michelle.